You are now tuned into the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there even when the success you've expected to achieve has yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, we're not done. You get a huge dose of personal initiative. What is that? That is the go-getter energy that moves any one of us, including yourself, to go and make things happen instead of wait for things to happen. And then we put all this together into a series of frameworks, approaches, insights, strategies, and techniques all underneath the umbrella of one unifying philosophy that is called work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. And today we are starting, this is going to be part one of, well, this is part one of what will be a three-part series on the concept called the Dream 100. I'm going to explain what it is, why it is, and how you can actually utilize it between today, tomorrow, and the following episodes. And before I get started on that, first, let me remind everyone, I send out a daily motivation text message every morning to everyone who's in my text community. This is a message that is guaranteed to keep you focused, sharp, and on point. If you would like to receive a message that's gonna keep you focused, sharp, and on point, just text me at this number right now, 305-384-6894. And every day when I send out the daily motivation, since you are a member of my texting community, you shall receive that message. And you can actually respond to those messages because I do take time every day and go through and respond to, I don't respond to every single message I get, but I do respond to some. And secondly, you can also text me while you're listening to the show. Tell me the best insight you got from this episode, something that made you uh, just think different. Maybe you're going to do something different. Maybe you got a breakthrough or some new idea that you hadn't considered before. Or maybe I reminded you of something that you heard before, but you forgot about. Text me at my number. Let me know. Secondly, Work On Your Game University is the best place, is the place where you take your next step in working with me. That's where you can get access to my coaching programs. That's where you get access to all the 20 plus courses we have in the university, all the exclusive trainings where anything you hear on this show, you want to hear or see me go deeper on these subjects, which I do, where I explain to you more of the how do you actually do it. That's what happens inside of the university. So everything I talk about here, I tell you what you need to understand and the things that you could or should be doing for your life and your business. Inside of the university is where I explain to you how to do it. And I give you the techniques and the tactics and the process for actually doing those things at workonyourgameuniversity.com. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the topic, which is utilizing the Dream 100. Now. This the dream. What the Dream 100 is is a, a just a simple concept. Dream 100 is simply a, a fancy title that's been put on the concept of collaboration. Now I talked about we talked about the different ways that you can market yourself back in episode 1835, and today I'm going to go deeper into what the Dream 100 is about. And let me tell you who this is for. Some of you may be listening and wondering: Is this a topic that is actually useful for you? This is for any of you who wants to draw more attention to what you're doing. However, in drawing attention, you do not want to spend a whole bunch more money on advertisements and or you want a better way from, for generating revenue besides advertisement. Maybe you have never advertised. Maybe you don't feel like you have the money to advertise or you don't want to, here's the other way that you can uh, market yourself is that you can create content. You don't want to create a new podcast episode every day like me or write a whole bunch of articles like some other people or you feel like maybe you can't be consistent enough to do that. So you don't want to get into the ad game because you don't want to put the money into it or maybe you feel like you don't have it. You don't want to get into the content game because maybe you don't have the time or you don't feel like you'd be consistent enough. How can you get yourself out there? Then? How can you get your name out there? If you're not going to do ads, you're not going to do content. The other option that you have is collaboration. All right, that's what we're going to be talking about here today and over these next two episodes. So without any further ado, because everything else you need to know is going to be in my points. I'm going to give you more intro. Let's get into it. Point number one, we are talking, talking again today about how to utilize the Dream 100. This first episode, I'm going to kind of be just talking about what the Dream 100 is about so you have an understanding of it. And the second part, part two, I'm going to be giving you some, some basic uh action steps to get started with the Dream 100. And then the third one, I'm going to give you some of the the secret sauces that will actually help the Dream 100 work for you. All right, so that's what we're going to do these three episodes. So point number one, the value of the Dream 100. Not only does it get you in front of, again, topic is Dream 100. Not only does this get you in front of a warm audience who may already be ready to take action, you also get the build it built in no like and trust factors from someone who has already done the work to build up equity with an audience. So what the Dream 100 does, 
because in episode 1835, I talked about the three ways to market yourself, three marketing traffic strategies. There is advertising where you spend money to get attention. That's the fastest. Collaboration is what we're talking about here. And then content. That's the slowest, but it doesn't cost you anything. You can do it without ever talking to another human being. The great thing about the Dream 100 is when you collaborate with someone who already has an audience, they already have the people who you want to serve in their audience. Those people already know, like, and trust that person. And if you stand next to that person and you are presented as you know, that person's friend, that person's acquaintance, and they say to their audience, hey, trust this person because I trust this person. Now you don't have to do the work that you had to do to warm up an audience of people who otherwise don't know about you. That's one of the, that's one of the values of the Dream 100 and is one of the biggest reasons that people use it. So Dream 100 is when you're appearing on another person's platform in any way, when you do affiliate deals, any kind of joint venture, when you are um, just, you work with another person in any way, that's Dream 100. You do a collaboration video or audio or a podcast or anything like that. Those are all different forms of utilizing the Dream 100. So you're dropping in on a pot that's already boiling. You don't have to boil your own pot. When you create content, you're boiling your own pot. Is that still water is room temperature? You got to boil it up. You got to get it hot. You have to make it hot yourself, which can be done. You should be using all of these strategies, by the way. With the Dream 100, the pot is already boiling because somebody else did the work. So all you're doing is jumping in. But the way that you do this, though, is, I mean, it's not that simple. But what you have to do is identify that person who already has the boiling pot, that person who already has the audience. What do they need? that you can actually uh, help them with? What need do they have that you can fulfill? That's how you leverage the Dream 100. Remembering that everybody has needs that are outside of just finances. So even if you're talking to someone whose audience is bigger than yours and maybe they're doing more business and making more money than you, there are still some things, some things that they need that you can uh, serve them with. You just have to identify what those needs are. It's your job to figure out what this is. It's not their job to tell you what the needs are that may be outside of just money. But what can you help them with that uh, that they actually need? And if you find a match between what you can deliver and what they need, then they'll probably be willing to work with you, given that you have some other things in place, which we'll talk about over this episode and the next two. But understand, just because someone has a bigger audience than you or more followers or more whatever than you does not mean that you cannot collaborate with them. So when I when you talk about collaborating in the Dream 100, you don't have to limit your vision to people who are about your level or smaller than you. You can look at people who are much bigger than you. You just have to figure out what you can help them with that they actually want and need. And again, key point, it is your job to figure this out. It is not their job to tell you. Point number two, today's topic, once again, we are talking to Dream 100. First, we're just going over some understandings of what it's about. Point number two, we talked about the three forms of marketing. I told you already. Advertising is the fastest, but it's also the costliest. You got to pay money to get attention, but you can get attention very quickly. All right, if you want to double your followers on social media today, I'll tell you the guaranteed way to do it. Put enough money into an advertising platform and you will double your followers on social media today. You want to get twice as many followers on Instagram right now, I can tell you exactly how to do it. As long as you have the budget, I just tell you to put a certain amount of money behind some of your most popular content. You put enough money behind it, you will get more followers, guaranteed. Now, are those followers going to buy anything? I didn't promise you that. I just said you'll get more followers. So any of you want more followers, advertise, you will get more followers very quickly. Um, collaboration is what we're talking about here. And the other one is content. Again, content is you doing everything on your own. You doing the heavy lifting. Content is the what we call the long tail where that material can work for you over years and years and years. And all of you familiar with the phrase SEO stands for search engine optimization. That's what content is. Content is playing the SEO game and SEO is very valuable because SEO can work for you long after you have stopped doing the work. Advertising does not work that way. As soon as you stop putting money into an ad, it, it stops immediately, immediately. It's like it comes to a complete stop right there on the spot. I was taking this local uh, train in Miami two days ago. It's called the Metro Mover. It's a free train that takes you around basically like the downtown central business district of Miami. And sometimes I'll take it just because I don't want to take the I'll walk. I'll take a long walk and then I'll just take the train like a good amount of the way back. So I don't have to walk all the way back. It saves me time. And I'm on this Metro Mover. And while I was coming into like the downtown area, it just came to a complete stop immediately. Like, boom, like, I mean, immediate stop, not a slowdown. It stopped. And everybody who was on the train like jerked forward because it's one of those trains where everybody's standing up it's a little small thing because you only ride it for a couple minutes and what happened is something was wrong with the train it malfunctioned they they finally got it up to the station and everybody had to get off the train the point is 
The way advertising works is the way that that train worked when it malfunctioned. It stops right there on the spot. As soon as you stop doing the work, it stops. The faucet turns off. Like, you know, you got water running, you turn the faucet off and the water stops immediately. No drip. All right, that's advertising. Content, on the other hand, is like a drip. You have the water dripping. It's like if you went on vacation, you left the water dripping in your sink, you might have a flooded house by the time you get back. That's how content works. It slowly drips over time. It doesn't fill up the tank very quickly, but over time, it works for you. That's the power of creating content. And this is why you need to be doing all of these things, not just one of them. And the Dream 100 is kind of a mix of both, where you get the attention, you can get the attention very quickly, and you don't have to take the time to do the drip but again, when you stop collaborating, that collaboration may stop working for you. It depends on how you set it up. You got a lot of different options here. So advertising costs money, content costs time. All right, these are two of your forms of investment. Notice that time, money, attention, energy, focus. Content is time intensive. Advertising is money intensive. Collaboration is more attention, focus, and energy intensive. Those are the other three forms of investment because this is where you got to build relationships and you can't build a relationship without giving you gotta put some time into a relationship, but not often a lot of time, but you gotta give attention, you gotta be focused, and you gotta give some energy to it. All right, so that's what collaboration does. It combines a warm audience, potential speed of return on investment, not guaranteed, but potential, and you don't need to constantly create stuff to get buy-in from your audience. So a key ability that you use in collaboration is, again, you must identify the right person to collaborate with. You can't collaborate with everybody, or maybe, actually, technically, you can, but not everybody's gonna be wanting to collaborate with you and you won't wanna collaborate with everyone else either simply because you gotta figure out what can you give them that they need and what can they give you that you need. So you gotta find the right match. It's kinda of like any heterosexual man, a heterosexual woman technically could be in a relationship and mate and make kids, but not every man is interested in every woman, not every woman is interested in every man. It's the same thing when it comes to collaboration. So given what you can offer, what is the ideal person for you to work with? You need to think about this and answer this question. And a good way to start with this is who is the ideal person you have served in the past? Who are the ideal people you're serving right now? When you know the answer to that, guess what? There are probably more of them out there. So you just wanna look for more people who look like and sound like and smell like the people who you're already serving who love what you're giving them. Point number three, today's topic, once again, we are talking about the Dream 100. We're just getting some basic understandings of how it works and what you can do with it. You need to understand and really appreciate the power of collaboration in today's world. Everybody, we are living in the collaboration era and we are operating in a collaboration economy. I talked about this in an episode here. Hold on one second. I'm gonna give you the episode where I talked about how the permission economy is over and how the Collaboration economy is the new economy we're in. That was episode 2293. If you haven't listened to that episode, it's linked down below and we're still in the process of moving all our content from, we used to be on WordPress, but DreAllDay.com is gonna be on a different platform. We'll have all the episodes listed and all streamlined, but you can listen to that. You can probably still hear that in the podcasting app that you're listening to this on now. If you're listening to this episode relatively uh, recently from when it got released. But episode 2293, I talked about the permission economy. That was when we had gatekeepers. That was when if you wanted a, a TV show, you didn't have YouTube, you had to get approved by somebody. You wanted to write a book, there was no self-publishing. You had to go through a publishing company and somebody had to approve you. If you wanted a radio show, you couldn't just start a podcast. Somebody had to okay you to get a radio show. You needed approval from somebody in order to do these things to put yourself out there. That era is over, obviously. All of you know that right now we're in a collaboration economy where anybody can pretty much put out anything and the good thing is we are all collaborating with each other every piece of social media content that gets put out is a collaboration because the social media platforms own the space what they're doing is opening up the space to people like us we create the content they have all the people and we're collaborating together so you want to be looking for ways to collaborate this is what this is where things are going these days okay this is not a fad a fad is something that comes and goes and you can ignore it. A trend is something that is just gonna happen. So for example, I was hearing somebody, I saw somebody talking about this the other day. Short form video. I'm a person who didn't always like short form video. Short form video is like 90 second TikToks and Instagram reels and just little clips. You know, somebody does a 90 minute interview, but then people just take little two minute clips from the interview and they put it on social media and people are reacting to the two minute clip, but they're not getting the full context of the whole 90 minutes. I used to get annoyed by that. 
And I still sometimes get annoyed by it because people take things out of context to make it make a situation sound like one thing when it's actually another thing. Y'all know people do this and some of you may be guilty of it and you may have fallen victim to it. But the thing is, this is a trend. It's not a fad. It's not something that's coming and going. That's a trend. This is just how things are. So any of you who has been resisting, as I, for a while I did resist the concept of getting into short form video, I said, no, I'm gonna put out long form videos only, and if somebody won't take the time to go through the long form, then they just aren't the type of person I wanna talk to anyway, but I had to change my mind about that because, listen, it's clear that this is what people are paying attention to. So over time, I talked about this in episode 734, keep your opinions flexible. The opinions that you have today should be not the, they shouldn't all be the same opinions that you have three weeks from now. Why? Because things are going to change. Things change. And it might not be you who change, but the people around you have changed. And if you're in the marketing business, guess what? You're not marketing to yourself. You're marketing to your audience. And if your audience's tastes change, your approach has to change. This is just how it is. Even if you disagree with it, you need to make this change. Because remember, we're not in the serving your opinion business. You're in the making sales business. And you got to sell to your buyers. And if this is what your buyers want, you got to give them what they want. Buyers want short form video. I'm just using that as an example. The whole point is, everybody's collaborating these days and the quickest way for you to get your name out there to more people is not for you to do all the heavy lifting yourself is to collaborate with other people if you're a user of social media you are already collaborating even if you didn't look at it that way the apps where you listen to your favorite forms your favorite influencers they're all collaborating all right youtube twitter facebook linkedin tiktok instagram clubhouse podcast these are all collaborations i'm collaborating right now with spotify apple Podcasts, soundcloud and whoever else because they have the platform, I have the content. All right, that's a collaboration. I didn't, I'm not doing this all by myself. There is some form of collaboration taking place. When you speak at a conference, you're collaborating with the people who put the conference on. If you have your own conference and you invite people to speak on, on your stage, they're collaborating with you. That's all a collaboration. So even if you are not actively seeking collaborations, you will at some point. All right, you, and if you're not actively seeking collaborations right now, honestly, you're operating in the past. All right, that's it's old. It's old ideas to do everything on your own and do all the heavy lifting. All right, that's what our parents and grandparents did. They had to because that's the era that they were living in. The era that you and I are living in. This is the collaboration era. So even if you're older than me, let's say you're a generation or two older than me, and you lived through the era where you had to do the heavy lifting yourself, I want you to understand that that era is over, and there comes a time when you have to adjust and you have to adapt as i just told you i didn't like short form video because i'd rather people get the full context of what i was going to say but then i had to come to the understanding all right most people these days are not going to sit through a 20 minute they're not going to listen to 20 minutes they're not going to listen to two hours but they will listen to 30 seconds so let me see how i can condense what i want to say down to 30 seconds to give it to the people who want the shortcut this is just how it is and again you don't have to agree with it doesn't matter if you agree with it what matters is this is what the people want. And if you want to make sales, you got to give people what they want to buy, not what you want to sell them. And if you get anything from this episode, take that sentence that I just said right there. Give people what they want to buy, not what you want to sell them. You can still do things by yourself and for yourself, but you got to give a percentage of your time and attention to creating new collaborations for your business. In other words, you need to be giving time every single day to figuring out how do I create another collaboration? How, do I, how can I create another collaboration? How can I reach out to someone else who might have the audience that I want? They already warmed those people up. They already got those people ready to buy. Those people already have their wallets out and their credit cards ready to swipe. How can I get in front of those people? Why would you not? I spend time every single day, every day, I am reaching out to new people to possibly collaborate with. It could be something as simple as I'm gonna be on their podcast or I'll be on their YouTube channel or get interviewed by them. It could be something like being a, a guest uh, author on their blog. It could be uh, I get invited to speak on their stage at a conference or an event. Maybe they'll invite me to come share it live with them, be on Clubhouse with them, with an audio streaming app. Maybe it could be let's do a joint venture. I'm going to get my one of my courses. I'll take my Bulletproof Mindset course and I'll offer it at a discount to your audience and you get a cut of the deal. It can be something like that, but I'm always looking for ways to collaborate with people who already have an audience. I may be looking for people who, look, if somebody is working with, somebody has a, a coaching program and they coach a certain type of people and I coach a different type of people. I say, well, why don't you send me some of your clients to come to my stuff? I'll send some of my clients to go to your stuff and we can collaborate with each other because we're giving people different things, but they are complimentary. So always looking for new ways to collaborate. Remembering that your customers are polygamous, meaning they are not married to just one person to, to buy from and they will never buy from anyone else. All right? That is not how customers are. And you are a customer. Think about the places that you buy from. Do you buy from only one influencer? 
How many of you had this one influencer, you only buy their stuff, you only buy their books, their courses, their programs, you only get coached by them, you won't even look at anybody else's stuff to possibly buy. All right, none of you. All right, all of you buys from other people. Even if, if you bought a book from me before, I ain't the only person you ever bought a book from. I got a lot of books, but you bought, anybody who buys books, you ain't buying just from one author, right? You read more than one book. Any of you ever been coached by more than one person? Has any of you ever been to more than one person's event or anything like that? Of course, customers are polygamists. They will buy your stuff and they could love you and your stuff, but they're still looking around at what everybody else is doing. Why? Because they might buy their stuff too. Remember folks, a buyer is a buyer. Once their credit card is out, they are buying. Doesn't matter who they're buying from. I mean, it matters, but it doesn't matter. All right, they're gonna buy. And no matter how hard you try, nobody's gonna be, you're not gonna be the one-stop shop for any customer. Why? Because buyers just, they buy stuff. Doesn't matter who they buy from, they just buy it. All right, they can buy it with you, they can buy from you, excuse me, and continue to buy from other people. So just because someone, let's say you do a collaboration with someone and now some of their audience becomes your audience, they don't have to stop being the audience of the person that you collaborated with. So I can listen to one person's podcast and then I hear a guest on that podcast and I like the guest. Okay, now I'll listen to two podcasts. I hear another guest, now I'll listen to three. Now I'll listen to 10, now I'll listen to 30. So I'm not limited to just one person. So remember that this is, these are not monogamous relationships you have with your customers. They are buying from other people. Don't fight this. Again, do not fight this. Work with it. This is how it is. This is the collaboration era, everybody. This is a trend. It is not a fad. Okay? So in the next episode, we're going to talk about how do you actually get started with this. Well, let's recap today's class, which is just the basic understandings of the Dream 100. Number one. Value of the Dream 100 is it gets you in front of a warm audience who is ready to take action. You also have the built-in no like, and trust factors from someone who has already done the work to build equity with that audience. So you are jumping in to a boiling pot of water, not in a negative way, in a positive way. Number two, the three forms of marketing, advertising, collaboration, and content. This is the advertising, I mean, excuse me, this is the collaboration. So you don't have to spend money and you don't have to take a whole lot of time here. So you get a, a mix of kind of the best of both worlds. And number three, understand the power of collaboration in today's world. This is the collaboration era. You look around on your smartphone, look at the people that you deal with. Almost everything you do is some form of collaboration. If you are not actively collaborating and seeking to collaborate, I'm giving you a warning. You are living in the past. Please catch up to the world that we are in today. Do not get left behind. I'm telling you this again, this is not a fad. This is not something that's coming and going. This is a trend this is the way that the world is going to be moving forward so you better jump on this train or get left behind tomorrow we're going to talk about some actual tactical actionable things to do to start making this work on your behalf text me tell me the best insight you got from today's class my number is 305-384-6894 and secondly go to work on your game university.com that's where you can get access to my coaching programs where i can give you some better quality questions you can be asking yourself how you can uh, take yourself to another level when it comes to building your business, getting your name out there, getting your game out there, and everything else that you want to do. Again, that is at workonyourgameuniversity.com. Work on your game. Dre all day.